Hi everyone, it's Emmy, and uh, welcome back to Emmy Eats. Um, today I'm eating another country. Um, I love doing these country videos. I think they're one of my favorite things to do. Um, so I've had this package for a little while now, and I want to eat it. So um, it's this great big package, huge package from Italy. I got this great little note, and it was sent to me. I'm going to call her Sybil. This is part of the package. This is the savory part of the package. And this is the sweets part. I mean, she just went crazy. So, <laughs> thank you so much, Sybil, for sending me such a comprehensive and amazing, amazing package. Yeah, let's get started. I'm excited to see what Italy has to offer. So she sent me these great little crackers. They're spianatine con pomodori scaparello di basilico. Sorry for my poor Italian. <laughs> um, it's gonna be some sort of mix of Japanese and, and Spanish. I think they're crackers. She sent me these crackers, I think, to, to taste with something like this. This is spunti, a gusto prosciutto cotto. So I think prosciutto is, um, prosciutto is a type of um, ham. Delicious, delicious, delicious ham. So this is, I think, some kind of spread. A bit like the pate that I had um, in Switzerland. Ooh, these smell good. They're not plain though. I thought they would be plain crackers. They look like, well, it does say pomodori, which is tomato, so let's try it. Mmm. That's good. I actually do taste it. Mm, I just gleaked. <laughs> I actually do taste the tomato and a hint of basil. Those are good. Not overly salty. Um, they, to me, they almost look cheesy because they're orange, but it's definitely tomato. So I'm gonna try that with the um, with the pate spread. And there it is. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, it smells like ham. It's kind of smoked. It smells a bit salty, but let's try it. Here we go. Mmm. That's good. It's a lot smokier than the other pate that I had. The other one I had, and I can't believe I can't remember La Le Pastine. Le mm, crud. I can't remember. This one's a lot smokier. Mmm, it's good. You know what it tastes like, actually? It tastes a lot like, kind of like hot dogs. It's got that kind of porky taste and um, very smooth consistency. Of course, hot dogs are a bit firmer in texture. But this is very smooth. Great little snack. I think it would be really good for a picnic. Yum. La patatina? La patatina? These look like potato chips. And I love how they put a hamburger. It looks very American. <laughs> but let's see how they are. Oh, they smell good. They actually smell a bit like salted, salt and vinegar chips, or as you Brits call it, call them Chris. But let's try these. Wow. I'm just amazing they're <laughs> they're flavored they taste like they taste like burgers <laughs> that's crazy they taste like hamburgers it has a little bit of an oniony relishy flavor wow that's amazing it's like burgers and and potatoes combined it's delicious but um a little bit uncanny um I've never had a chip like that before. It tastes remarkably like a hamburger. I mean, minus the whole beef thing. And I think the flavor is actually, tastes, is relish. It tastes like relish, or it tastes like in and out secret sauce. It tastes just like that. <laughs> They're awesome. I love La Patatina. That's amazing. I wonder how they do that. Um, it's incredible. It tastes just like a hamburger. I highly recommend that. For those Americans that ever go to Italy, please look for this and try it because it tastes like a stinking hamburger. It's bizarre, um, but but quite good. Wow, what do they say in here? Ingredients. Wow, they list flavor hamburger taste is the second ingredient. That's crazy. <laughs> Sybil, thank you so much. That's amazing. I'm so glad I tried that. Oh, hamburger flavored potato chips. That's, uh, can't get over it. Okay, 
Back to something sweet. These are lovely. This is called Confetti Crispo. Confetti Crispo and uh, Chico Nut. There's several of these little bonbons. They're so tiny. Look how, it's like the size of my thumbnail. So cute. Ah, and look, there it is. Little round sphere of chocolate. It smells like milk chocolate. Let's taste it. Well, I'm going to bite it and see what's inside. That's so good. It's a whole hazelnut. Oh my gosh, it just went down my shirt. It's a whole baby tiny hazelnut dipped in milk chocolate. A bit like um like a milk dud without the dud. <laughs> it's really delicious. It tastes like the best kind of um, Nutella or Nutella. It's better than that. It's just like a straight up, and it's got that great, beautiful nuttiness of a hazelnut or a filbert nut, as some people call it, with that beautiful shell of milk chocolate. This is the next item. The next savory item is called pate olive nere or olive nere. I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, Sybil says it's an olive paste. So let's go ahead and try that. Um, it comes in a tube like this, a lot like um, like a tube of toothpaste. And uh, you open it from down here and you stab it with that. And immediately it smells like olives. Um, duh. <laughs> I love olives. I love uh, real oil cured olives or um, picholine olives or um, niswell olives. I like the real olives with the pits. I'm not a big fan of the canned olives. Um, but anyways. Oh, and when you put it, I'm going to put it on a cracker again. Um, it looks like chopped up olive bits. You can actually see the chunks. And there's some green olive oil in there. And it smells delicious. So let's try it. Mmm. That's delicious. It's salty and briny. And it got that it has that bitterness that you find in olive oil. Um, no brainer there. But delicious. It has that great complexity that you find in really yummy olives. Look, it's Smurfs. Um, it's called Poof or Puff. Anyways, I have little cutouts of Papa Smurf and another Smurf on the back. Biscotti. So biscotti means like twice baked, right? So um, twice baked cookies. But I think these, these are just cookies. But let's see inside. Oh, jeez, careful. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> there are cookies that are stamped with Smurfs on it. Look at Smurfette. <laughs> and look, it's Brainy Smurf. Gosh, did, did anyone like Brainy Smurf? He was such a, just, I mean, I'm all about being nerdy and smart, but he was just kind of, he was very condescending, you know? No one likes to... You know, everyone wants to be right, but it's not cool. All right, Brainy Smurf. Let's eat Brainy Smurf just to be spiteful. Ready? It smells great. It smells like vanilla. It's good. I think my son will love these. They taste like animal cookies, but a lot bigger. Um, has that kind of toasted vanilla, um, crummy texture, crumbly texture, not crummy crumbly texture of a, of a, of an animal cookie. And nice and crisp and light. I like that. That's what they look like in the bag. There are tons of them. Great idea. I love the Smurfs. Man, I used to watch the Smurfs. Azriel and Gargamel. Yeah, good times. Fonzies. Um, it doesn't really show anything on the packaging, so let's see what it's about. Actually, on the top it says, Crocatini mais al formaggio. Sorry, so it sounds like it might be um, some kind of cracker with, with cheese. Super! Fonzies look like they might be cheese doodles. An Italian take on cheese doodles. This is what they look like. Oh, they smell immediately very cheesy, but like, like real cheese. It smells like Parmesan as opposed to, well, it smells like mac and cheese too a bit, so let's try it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, those are good. Very similar to the ones that I had in Canada called Cheesies. Those are a little bit too salty, but tasted really cheesy. And so does this. Same texture as a crunchy Cheeto. Very crunchy, and then it tastes like a, like a corn base. Um, 
but the flavor is much better, I think. And it's not going to turn your fingers that gross orange. Fonzies, excellent. I love those. Look at this. This has got to be one of the best names of a sweet ever. Tronky. <laughs> Tronky. Tronky by, um, again, by Ferrero. So it looks like Ferrero has the chocolate market in Italy. That looks really delicious. The shape kind of reminds me of some of the sweets that I had from Switzerland. Um, the Branche and the, um, what was the other one? Torino. I think Torino actually is Italian, but a similar kind of shape. This kind of more grassle shape. This, it has that kind of crisp rice-like um, wafer-like coating on the outside. And it looks like it's a little bit chocolate. It has maybe some cocoa in it because it's darker in color. But let's just see what's inside. Mmm. So good. I find that a lot of European chocolates really take advantage of the combination of hazelnut and chocolate. And this one is no exception. You know, sometimes I think peanuts get a little bit rancidy to me, a little bit too oily. Not at all with this. You just get beautiful toasted hazelnut in that. That's excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This is called Christmas Clips. Cool one. And it smells just like a potato chip, so let's try it. There it is. Mmm. It's great. I'd say almost identical to Lay's. You got that really great potato flavor and just salt. Very simple. Um, but inside, it comes with a little surprise. Look at how cute. It has a little Santy, a little Santa Claus, little Christmas clip. I think in my Emmy Eats um, Germany Part 2, I did one about eating Christmas um, foods from Germany, and I called Santa Santy, and there was a big uproar. They're like, you don't call him Santy? Sure you do. Gran Selezione. So this looks like a selection of different kinds of candies. So different kinds of caramels. I'm going to try the classic one. This says La Classica Caramella in Rosso. So it's called Rosanna. Rosanna. Do you that old song? Okay. I won't sing anymore. Oh. Oh gee. Just dropped it. It's not caramel at all. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's embossed with um, perogine on it. Can you see the name? Beautiful. It smells, it smells sweet. doesn't really smell like much. Maybe a little bit caramelly, but let's try it. Mmm! I was expecting caramel or something. It's fruity. Whoa! has a liquid center. Whoa. That's weird. Wow. I don't know if I like it. It makes it a little bit chewy. And the center, I don't know what that is. It tastes kind of fruity and sweet. But I don't know what kind of fruity is it. A little hint of I think it might be some kind of citrus. And a hint of spice, maybe a little bit of ginger or something, or nutmeg. That's so strange. It took me aback. I was thinking that it would be a hard candy, but then it was liquid in the middle. Rosanna. I don't know if I like you. This is incredible. This is called Funny Bunny. But I think it's a cereal. I think you eat it with maybe with milk? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe not. Look inside. There's a whole bunch of them. And they look like little bunny curled, like little curled bunnies. It smells savory. Maybe it's not sweet. So let's try. They are. They're savory. It's not cereal at all. It tastes like a bit of like a potato snack. Airy and crisp and lightly salted. It's good. It's called Funny Bunny. <laughs> this one's called Pocket Coffee Espresso. So she, she warned me on it. She wrote us, she said, liquid center, beware. So I'm glad she warned me. Here's one pocket coffee. Look at how beautifully packaged and wrapped. Um, just like a little brick. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful and glossy and dark. 
Oh, and it already smells like chocolate. I mean, it smells like coffee. Ah, oh, looks delicious. Ready? Here we go. I think I have to be careful because I don't want to squirt everywhere. Maybe I'll just put the whole thing in my mouth. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's intense. Wow. Intensely good. Holy cow. That's amazing. The outside is just dark chocolate. Um, very kind of strong, good integrity chocolate. And then because when you bite into it, it is completely liquid. And it tastes like coffee. Um, it's like a blast of, of sweetened espresso. And so when you bite it, it just gushes with um, coffee liqueur. Um, that's awesome. I really love that. It says it's 100% Arabica. Arabica. So um, we'll see if I actually get a coffee buzz from it. But uh. She says, Lupo Alberto is a popular comic character. A wolf in love with a hen. Candies are sold as, um, as individually. <laughs> Can you see them? So cool. So I'm gonna just try it. They look like they feel kind of gummy. So let's see what they're inside. They are gummy. Look, they're clear, and then you can see Lupo's face on there. And they smell this one smells like lemon. And it smells like a gummy worm, but let's taste it. Mm. And that's exactly the texture. Kind of that gelatin soft but definitely resilient gummy and it's a lemon it's good quite chewy but I love the illustrations they're so great Lupo Alberto this one's called Tablo look at that it's a candy bar oh look how beautiful and then you can break them up into like little rings Smells great. Let's try it. Mmm. Yum. It's just delicious, delicious milk chocolate. Love it. Has a nice crisp snap to it. A little bit more like a dark chocolate. But has that smooth, milky, favorite, yummy mouthfeel of, of milk chocolate. This is Bali. Mobiri Amici. Mobidi Amici. So these look like cookies. This reminds me of the bear cookie that I had in, I believe it was the Czech Republic. I had the bear. And um, this looks like it's very similar. Um, but I think they're different characters than the bear one. Uh, oh, look how cute. So when you open it, there's several little friends, all individually wrapped. And he smells like a little cake. Here we go. Mmm. It's good. Very soft in texture. Cakey. And then it's got a little chocolate center. It tastes a lot like that bear. Um, that bear cake. It's good and the cake is very soft and crumb the crumb is very fine. It reminds me of say something like a like a Twinkie or something. Very finely crumbed and then you've got that chocolate center. Really good. Love that. I bet kids would adore that. <laughs> okay, I am officially stuffed. Um, I'm going to come back. Like I said, I'm going to put this in the freezer, and so I'll have a follow-up um, of Sybil's package where I'll actually try this because I'm really excited to try that. That looks delicious. Um, so look for that soon. And um, thanks, you guys, for watching. Thank you guys so much. And Sybil, thank you so much for sending me such a wonderful package. Just a huge wonderful package filled with great Italian sweets and snacks. If you like this video, go ahead and click there and you can subscribe and you won't ever miss a video. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers. <laughs> Take care. Bye.